We gotta do our affirmations. <laughs> okay, let's go through what we just did. I am strong. I am strong. I am entertaining. That's not true. You cannot. We never figured yeah, out the word for the this. Word for opposite of the affirm. opposite of an affirmation, but it's what Susie does to me daily. I say I am resilient. I am brave. Susie says false, 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 false. Incorrect. If you're so brave, why don't you, why don't you talk? Why don't you tell it straight to me? Yeah, no, too scared too to scared. tell tell it straight to Susie. <laughs> <laughs> oh you guys we're gonna we're gonna discuss this more but uh, you can tell that i'm i'm a new person Susie's grip strength I'm, is out of control it's insane Are it's you too strong can you guys see this right now she gave me a handshake earlier oh God. broke my thumb i broke her thumb clean off <laughs> just snapped it right off what do you think i feel when i'm intimate with her whoa, whoa. Brandon, that's personal hold yeah, on you know what i'm doing cut that out write that down no i'm just kidding <laughs> Um, welcome to Strump. Do I do this? Do we do welcome. This You're listening to Strumpet, Strumpet Radio, Radio Hour, Hour. The podcast for strumpets, trollops, and tarts World worldwide. worldwide. I'm Bean, and I'm I feel Jim like Rat Susie. Jim <laughs> I just call her Rat for short. <laughs> yeah, she calls me Ratty for short and kind of mean, but you know. no, that's nice. Okay. And we're back. And we're back. <laughs> so you're a gym rat now. I'm yeah, I'm a full full fledged gym rat. I have not been to the gym. No. To be clear. Too many rats. Too many too many rats <laughs> yeah, I could be the only one. Um I haven't really exercised that consistently either. But no, I've exercised either. more than before. Certainly more than the last episode. Yeah, you've been doing great actually. I've been doing okay. Um I have not ran at all hey that's okay um but i have been doing yoga and that's i mean all this is for is to get slightly better at moving our bodies yoga is almost training for a 5k it's almost (laughs) if you did yoga every day yeah i don't know what that would mean if you if you tried to run a 5k i don't know what that would do but i feel like you would be in better standing to do it yeah Um, it would probably pull fewer muscles yes i'm pretty worried because i'm gonna do this 5k no matter what right Uh, but i might be walking it it might be a i had the thought a walker i said if i can if i can run maybe a third yeah (laughs) i said that's a win that's That's a a win win. That's and it's the last time I did. It. I ran the whole time, guys. I don't think that's gonna happen again. Hey, let's be realistic about our expectations. Yeah, it's like set them low. Set them low. Maybe we'll then you'll surprise them. yourself. Um. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the first up, first topic of the day is gains. Gains. Obviously, I've gained a lot. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> mostly charisma. Yeah. Mostly charisma. <laughs> um. No, I what was I gonna say? Oh, I got through the entirety of week one of the training plan. I love that it, it has been like two and a half to three weeks since but the we last did episode. week one. <laughs> I think I got through week one. Brendan got sick, notably Brendan got That's sick. So sad. So he couldn't do it, and then therefore my my motivation immediately faltered the moment there's no one holding me accountable, right? Um of course sorry, everyone bean and i did go on a long walk though. we went on a, we walked like two and a half miles yeah, we basically walked a 5k so that's pretty good so, and that was kind of like the start of week two but then i didn't do anything else for week two and then today we did another long walk me and brendan good and then yeah. I did my 10 minute of yoga after the walk so i feel i feel like i've started week two again here we go you know so ready we're ready yeah i've been doing uh Rindo and i've been doing yoga like most oh Bird? yoga with cassandra adrian? cassandra cassandra's the best one and i stand I by personally it personally like adrian Ugh. oh i'm a bird guy whoa yeah yoga with bird which white lady yeah which you, lady on youtube do you want <laughs> to teach you yoga <laughs> it's a hard decision i did try a lot of them back when i started doing yoga forever ago and i like uh cassandra because her instructions i find them very helpful that is important she'll tell you to do things you know that i wouldn't think she's like anchor your shoulder to the ground and i'm like whoa now it hurts (laughs) so is this right i feel like she's good (laughs) um but yeah i used to do yoga kind of 
often and then i hadn't done it in forever and dude i'm so tight my body <laughs> is that does not bend oh the okay. way it used yeah. to yeah yeah what so. was your most flexible i was always like when i was young i was always super flexible right. you know when you're a kid and you're like can you guys look we are we can almost do the splits right um but i'm probably my least flexible now but we're fixing it we're fixing it fixing right? that although i never could do the splits most people can't. Most yeah. I feel like there's a, yeah there's a point where a lot of young kids almost can. Yeah, but unless you are just specifically noodly. training to do the splits, I don't think you can. No, I don't think I need to either. You get to that point. That'd be pretty sick. I feel like I dislocate a hip. <laughs> yeah, you finally can do it, and then it just breaks you. <laughs> yeah, because I did a hip flow like hip stretching yoga video. Yeah, and I was Burning like sore purposes. for like three days. Oh yeah, no, yeah. it's crazy how many. I did a beginner, me and Brennan did beginner, like, 15-minute yoga video. Easiest fucking stretches in the world. <laughs> and I was, like, sore for days. Oh, I yeah. Was, I was like, But that's Whoa. how you know it's working. It's, no, it's it's a good feeling. But I was like, damn. I was, that was just the basic, like, downward dog and, right. you know, warrior pose. And I'm like, oh, my muscles can't. Ow, ow, oh. ow. I got to figure out how I'm going to fit some cardio in. Because it's, I don't like going outside it when it's so cold. It fucking sucks, yeah. I was thinking of um, dipping my toes into blog Blogilates again. Ooh. Did you ever do that? I did that I with never did those, but they looked kind of fun. They're really hard. Yeah, yeah. But they're nice because they're just like, you know, living room right. workouts where you're just doing crazy shit. You don't need, you don't need to go anywhere. You yeah. Just put it on. We should do one together. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. They're really hard. <laughs> you're like, th- you think it won't be hard because you're just standing in your living room. I know, and then it's... It's amazing how much you can push your body. No, it's <laughs> it's actually really impressive, like, what yeah. what kind of strength workout you're capable of doing with literally no equipment or, like, yeah. you know, one piece of equipment. Um, and, yeah, it's scary. It's scary how, how we can exist so well and, and our, our bodies are actually not ready for any type of no. action whatsoever. No. It's it is what I'm so sedentary sedentary like all of my hobbies right. and work are just sitting, just sitting down. There. So this is good. This is good. And we're growing. We're, we're growing stretching. People. We're finding. I'm gonna be struggling success. on January tw- success. Success. I ran out of letters. Success. Success. Success five. Success five. It's all about success. <laughs> What other gains have you been making outside oh, of fitness? Employment gains. I'm employed yes. now. So haven't started employed. yet. So yeah, you actually me. you have a couple weeks, don't you? I have a couple weeks. That's to so nice. Come around. It's fantastic. Every job should give you that. They should say, "Yeah, have three weeks. Figure it out. Figure it out. Enjoy yourself." I will say, I took the last week off from just working on anything like employment related That's and it was really nice you definitely yeah it's really important to do that i calmed down i looked at my bank account and i was like wait i've got at least like three months rent hey there you go i'm gonna calm down for a minute that's because i kind of did the opposite this last week i said Susie, maybe look at your bank account and i said oh <laughs> ow oh Ouchy. no um yeah. but that's but then i found a, I got you know i got a job so I don't have any money yet, but but you will. I will eventually have money now. Is it a lot? No, it's nineteen dollars an hour. That's something. <laughs> it's that's <laughs> more than zero. It's more than zero dollars <laughs> an hour, and that's what I have been making currently. Um. So yeah, that's exciting on that front. Here. Yes. And we'll see how that goes. I am. I'm determined to continue to do things that I like to do because I just feel like every time I get a job, I say, oh, oopsies, Oops. I don't have a life now. And I'm like, I need yeah, to it's hard. maintain things that I enjoy. So I, w- I will say the benefit, because the first like few weeks of un- being unemployed, I was so stressed like right. all the time. For no reason, really. Like I right. still had runway and like I didn't need to be as stressed, but it's just the uncertainty. Right. But then I've been doing like a lot of comedy lately and it's been really fun. And I'm like, this is great. I wish I didn't have to have a job. Right. So I'm just hanging out. Because you just. I'm like live. making shit. I'm uh, working on making my couch green. Uh, big. That's big been gains. a big thing for me lately. Yeah. <laughs> green couch. <laughs> Trying to make a green couch. Um, yeah. I don't know. So. Yeah. Oh, but do you know what's funny? My friend's uh texted me and he's like i have some friends from college who are looking for a ux designer and i showed them your website oh and i was like wait my website doesn't work <laughs> like 
it looks nice when none of the buttons or anything work. And he was like, oh, they liked it. They wanted me with you. So I was like, okay, so I have that. I have no idea if it will be anything, but... So guess. So guess. It's nice that they just saw my, like, non-functioning website. And well, they were like, this is great. Let us re- 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 reconvene to the point of you, you know, you have a very high standard for yourself. Yeah. You get that people Except for personal hygiene. <laughs> what did you say to me? For myself. Talking about me. Oh. I need to shower more. Well, I noticed I needed to shower more when I would say to Randy, I'd say, I'm going to take a shower, and he'd go, yay! <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay, I should shower more. <laughs> that is the kindest way possible for him to say that you don't shower enough. That's amazing. <laughs> so like, funny. It's um, positive reinforcement. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, yes! Because he's just so nice. He yeah. would never be like, hey, babe, you should probably shower more than once every three days. Right. Well, but he would go, yay! Yay! yay you're yay. doing it! It's like when a baby uses the potty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah i felt like i was when brendan was sick after several days i was like hey 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 sweetie hey dude we've all been there man right there's no shame no shame and so i just told by somebody else you need <laughs> <laughs> when you're like you don't have zoom meetings to get on yeah i'm like getting super um into these other projects i'm not going outside for days at a time no it's very it easy. slips it slips slips away it slips away. I I do like showers as like um, when I have no structure to my day, and I'm like, well, I guess I can count this day as over now that I've like taken my shower. Right. That's so you're a night shower. I because I generally am a night shower. I am but I too. Kind of screwed that up recently. I took a shower like 3 p.m. Shouldn't Whoa. have done that. Oh, that's a weird one because I'm a night shower because my hair takes so long to dry. Right. And, um, yeah, when you take a shower at, like, 2, 3 p.m., like you just kind of have wet hair for most of the day, <laughs> but not all of the... It's weird. It's not right. Something's wrong. Um, but anyway, yes, I do have high standards for myself. And Work-wise. Not shower-wise. Not shower-wise. But, yeah, we'll see or what that is. Let's let's armchair therapist this more. I'm okay. S- armchair psychologist. I think you have high standards for yourself, including in the shower realm, because everything has to be so good that you'll put off doing it because you want it to be the greatest shower you've ever taken. Maybe that's what's happening. <laughs> I do have, well, I do do a lot in the shower. Right, because yeah. I, I remember Jenna Marble said this whole thing where she would be like, I hate showering because there's too much to get done there's in there. There's too much. I was trying to do a, um, so I've always hated shaving. Right. Uh, but I like being shaved <laughs> you know what i mean i'm not an infant so okay I'm, well, I'm an infant so i was trying to do this thing where i was like okay i'll shave every time in the shower but not like well okay <laughs> because what would happen is i would put off shaving for so long that by the time i was gonna shave everything it's a, bigger, it's a whole thing i get that no i definitely so I was like i'll that. just do a yeah. half ass job every time That's but then that does make me want to shower less because <laughs> i don't like doing that yeah, yeah, yeah. You've created like a, a. It's like yeah. It's like you're like well, it'll be easier, but uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I think you should just shell out late for laser hair removal. Maybe, I think about that too. But I don't even know if I want to commit no, to being bald. That forever. is a big commitment. And honestly, from what I've seen, it it doesn't work super well. Like, no, it, it depends a lot yeah. on like the the contrast between your hair and your skin right like it doesn't work for dark skin very well right but also if you have light skin and light hair it doesn't doesn't work work that well well. yeah and it's really expensive super expensive takes like tons of appointments and you have to do it over and over again yeah Yeah, Yeah, i mean i think importantly also i should have suggested that it matters on the location of your body as well yeah I would there probably. Places, oh yeah, okay. There's some places are quiz more for all of us. What area of your body would you give me some hair? I would probably just do my like, uh, like knee down. Oh, that's smart. Just because that like. It's the hairiest area. Yeah, it's usually the only area people see anyway. Right. I would never do it on my, my gens. I'm curious how well it works on the genitals. That sounds like a I nightmare. Wait, that, the hair's thicker there. Maybe it would work, but I it mean, does sound like a nightmare. Just some stranger up in your cool laser like burning you but that's also my least favorite place to shave because i'm so scared and that's fair that i'm gonna cut myself yeah yeah so do you i i would probably do the leg area that you described because yeah 
I made the joke that I'm not an infant, but definitely there are there are a few items of clothing that you put on and you say that does look kind of weird with some leg hair sticking. Yeah, out. yeah, especially if you wear like cute shoes. Oh yeah. But then leg hair it always looks a little off to it's me. It's a little it's a little, you know, I mean, there's a lot of people that pull it off very well, but it's it's you know what it's strictly fishnet stockings. That's yeah, it when it's sticking me. out. And <laughs> I'm like, damn. I mean, to be fair, I didn't shave anything for like 4 years. I was very that from that. ages zero to four. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just rocked the leg and armpit hair, right. and, and I'll probably do it again eventually. That, no, it doesn't, and it especially when you don't like it gets so like worn down and yeah. thin. It's really not a big deal, and I still stand by that. I I like armpit hair on women. Well, it's funny because I was about to say that I would I might get my armpits lasered just because I feel like it makes me less stinky mm. if I sweat if I don't have armpit hair. I wonder if that's true. It might I don't know. not be true. But I, I guess it would be it wouldn't be trapping the I juice. I think the hair holds it a little bit. Okay, that makes sense. But no, I, I vibe with some armpit hair. Yeah, you like the pit hair. What would, yeah, what area would you have laser? Would you do your beard? Laser it oh. off. <laughs> <laughs> the beard he has. He's like, I don't want this anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna cut to me here. Yeah, so yeah, we can to, see. So you can man. demonstrate where you want it yeah. lasered away. It's his butt. He pulls on his pants. <laughs> so right there. my ass. I would choose zero places. What? Not a single place. Not a single place. Not even like your nose. Oh wait, Bean, nope. that's kind of cool. Can it's, you laser it, your nose? Can you laser? Laser? <laughs> it would hurt so bad. It hurts so much. <laughs> and uh, I don't have a place where I don't need hair. So okay, for okay. me, Fine. this man wants all the hair in his body. I got, he likes I, his I, hair. Yeah, I want. I want all my hair. No, I'm I'm pro body hair. Okay, I would kind of want maybe I laser on my face, like the all the areas that I don't want my eyebrows hair to grow, so I never. Oh, that would be nice. Ever again. Yeah, or um, I get a lot of uh, like invisible hair on my chin. Oh gosh. But it look it uh makes makeup go no, on not as well, so I, I shave it a lot. Yes, yeah. I was looking at my face today, and I said, "Am I gonna be? Is this gonna bother me?" And maybe. thankfully, I didn't get stuck on it for the rest of the day. But I was like, <laughs> I was like oh. I rem- I just have this core memory. I think I was like 19 or 18 and I went to get like a haircut and she started shaving. Like I was getting a short haircut so she was buzzing my oh. sides and she just started buzzing down my cheek and my jaw and I was like, "Whoa." <laughs> that is so rude. <laughs> she buzzed on one of those straight razors to do the full <laughs> shave. So then I was like, "Oh, damn." damn okay. This- no, it is funny. There are these like um like esthetician TikTok accounts where they do these facials and like one of the first things they do is they like take all the hair off the face. Mm-hmm. Looks very satisfying to watch. It um, is. I got one of those like face razors yeah. and I use and it is really satisfying. It gets like dead skin too. Which I don't know if it's good for your skin, but it's satisfying. It sounds it sounds right. It sounds yeah, like it I sounds need to right. do that. I need to f- exfoliate with a blade. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes when i'm exfoliating in the shower that's how it feels like, yeah I'm like this is not enough it's i need, I need to, to go deeper yeah I'll get the whole layer off here's what i wish there was a, a procedure to make your pubes permanently trimmed short oh because that's my go-to i like a trim yeah but not like a full wax that. yeah but there that doesn't exist maybe they could like transplant fake hair there that's short <laughs> like astroturf okay yeah that's interesting yeah that's what i want i like where you're going with that thank um, you um i w- i do it well i was thinking is there any hair that stops at a certain length i mean yeah like i mean i guess your pubes kind of do your pubes I was just thinking my leg hair shorter does pubes, can you transplant that hair onto your pubes yeah like if i could transplant my leg hair <laughs> onto my pubes because my when i had it grown out it's definitely stopped right yeah it d- doesn't just what? keep growing why? why is that i don't know i think it has something to do with the sun <laughs> no i'm serious no, I'm, I'm serious. Here, yeah, I'm here, like yeah. our head hair specifically evolved to keep growing oh. to protect us from the sun. No, no, no. That makes sense. But yeah. the rest of it it's like, like didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, it, and it's interesting too because I guess even with our head hair, there are some people they don't cut their hair and it just grows until it's like dragging on the ground. But then some people it kind some of some people doesn't. doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess that's yeah. Brendan's looking it up right now. Fact check me. Know. I just love when you said the sun. It did make it sound like you go outside and the the sun <laughs> with 
you know because your eyebrows all like pretty much yeah. all the rest oh, of your hair stops get your eyebrow hair transplanted under your pubes that would be perfect that's perfect just two angry eyebrows <laughs> right yeah, above that's my what you wanted right <laughs> yeah <laughs> That'd be awesome. so it looks pissed all the time <laughs> So <laughs> it is so good, dude. So the internet says that we have uh, hair cycles. Ooh. Um, and your genetics uh, makes it so it stops at a at the end of the cycle, and oh. it like oh. has chosen a specific time when that is. Okay, but we don't get to choose the time. God so it's, it it's God, basically. Well, it would be weird if your leg hair just kept growing right. and it got so long. Right. Yeah. Like there's yeah. also yeah, there's evolutionary reasons for it, I guess. Yeah, I would assume. I'm not a scientist. Yeah. Nor am I a Christian, so I can't really explain it through either channel. But yeah, I have not found my perfect like hair removal process. Like I tried yeah. sugaring. Oh. And yeah. I feel like that had potential, but it was so messy. Yeah. If you make it yourself, and right. then if you buy it, it's really expensive. Ugh. I bought an epilator. I'm s- I've had for like a year, and I'm too scared to use. Oh my god! I'll use it on you. I think we should get a little drunk and then like epilate our legs. Wait, that we should do it. Because everyone says you should get a little tipsy for the first time and like take an ibuprofen and <laughs> okay. just do it. Because it's eventually it doesn't hurt as much because right. your follicles get weaker. Right. But yeah. the first time it's just it's supposed <laughs> to be pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. That does sound like a pretty good solution for you though. Because it's yeah. like it does get thinner and less intense. And then you can use it dry which. Yes. Which is nice. Sounds optimal. Because you like you know you're waiting for your Zoom meeting to start. You're screaming. Ow! Ow! Oh hi. Sorry. Just grooming. Oh and I got like a men's group body oh. groomer thing yeah. because i had a shitty like buzzer and it would cut me and that scared <laughs> the shit good. out of me that's not good yeah and so far now i am permanently terrified of trimming I my pubes but so far this one has not cut me i think people aren't scared enough of shaving their it's pubes. terrifying the amount of people online that talk about not only shaving their pubes shaving their butthole with oh my razor, god no and i'm like you can't see whatever's going on in there is in god's God's hands hands. i don't touch it i'm like (laughs) i'm too scared haven't had any negative comments so far so yeah 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 hope it stays that way and waxing sounds awful down there yeah i've never tried it i haven't either i would have to have it professionally done i couldn't do it myself oh yeah no way could i do that to myself Waxing is the only one too where I've thought maybe that's a good tactic to go get a full Brazilian and then you can like six months, you know, you got six yeah. months of time. Oh, just like let it let do it its grow thing. Out. Yeah, because you start you start from the basics and it grows very slowly. Right, right. I've okay. ne- never tried it. Never put it in. I've practice. always wanted to. Get, I love that this is what we're talking about for twenty minutes. I guess but so. I, I enjoy it. Just two ladies talking about their talking about hair. Uh, no, I've always wanted to get a Brazilian, but um yeah they are pretty expensive i mean it's yeah. not it's like 60 70 bucks right it's it's a lot of money i can't justify it it's i've never had a, a month right there what yeah ten dollars a month it's the not bad it last six months you're right it's doesn't last six months it lasts like six weeks okay that's what that's what big wax sells you right ten dollars a week yeah I don't know. It's a big enough chunk of money for something that sounds very unpleasant. Unpleasant and ultimately pointless, I guess, in my... Because, like, I'm yeah. like, in the end, <laughs> I don't need professional hair removal. No. I can't justify it, you know? Some there's going to be hair there forever. It's not... I'm, there's nothing I could do about it. As much as we're fighting it. It's also better for... Because, famously, I've had a lot of pussy problems. Oh, big time. And uh, having that hair there is better for you for like utis and they yeast infections that. yeah like yes, god intended that. <laughs> so that's what god designed it for, designed it for him. <laughs> yeah yeah well, that's so, it that's, um, that's okay that. but you're still afraid of shower we never got to the core you're afraid right of i'm not afraid of showering yes you are be admit it you know that it's that thing i feel like i've seen tweets about this where yeah. it's like i really you really don't want to get in the shower and then you really don't want to get out of the shower right yeah, yeah. famously the the like depressed mood where you're right. like i don't want to shower and then you're like i don't ever want to come out of the shower and you're sitting on the floor and you're getting all pruney yeah no i love sitting in the shower oh, yeah big time uh randar and i have reached that point in our relationship where if someone comes if one of us comes in while we're showering we don't stand up anymore 
<laughs> we're just like we know we're, we both sit in the shower <laughs> oh this okay is... yeah you don't i thought you meant like a respect thing. <laughs> 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 we don't even fucking stand we don't up. even salute at each other anymore, anymore. <laughs> no God like damn okay because he would walk in and i'd like stand right up. you're like oh i'm, I'm not weird not i'm being weird i'm not crying by yeah the way. i'm not i'm just chilling <laughs> i'm relaxing no that's really funny because that happened recently where i came in and brendan was sitting on the floor of the shower <laughs> and i was like oh hey yeah, yeah, there's my guy there's yeah my, there's my boyfriend that's when i was sick Aww. True. He fell down. Actually, I <laughs> fell down. I couldn't get up. <laughs> That's so sad. And you're I like, hi. I laughed and I laughed. Bye. Um. Yeah. No. That's that's an important step in the relationship. It thing. is. You well, I it. literally bought a shower stool, which I love. I keep thinking about that because I sit to like shave my legs. Yes, that would. Like, I need a stool a lot. It helps so because like actually shaving your legs doesn't. It's awful. It's actually a horrible. It experience. is so boring. And so, like, frustrating. Yeah. And just not worth it half the time. Right, because, like, you come out and you say, I guess my legs are smooth, but my back hurts so bad. My back bad. hurts. I missed 20 spots. Yeah, right. It's, like, not even actually smooth. It's just... The water rinsed off the soap halfway through, so oh, I have God. razor burn on half my leg. Bro. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, hair removal. But I, I, am, I am enjoying not having hair more uh in recent times so i'm trying to find that balance like sweet spot. yeah what makes it tolerable i think i should get into the epilator yeah so for my legs the natural next step yeah shaving armpits that's so quick that's fine pubes are always gonna be a beast <laughs> there's no way around it <laughs> that's never gonna be fun or easy an untamed beast yeah and that's it. And that's that's Sponsored that. Sponsored by Nair. Sponsored by Nair. I have you used Nair? I actually have, and I, I have. will say that is Nair. I recommend for pube removal. I actually did kind of like it because even the stuff it didn't get, it kind of bleached. Right. It so, makes it very like easy to. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I should do more Nair. It's just like kind of nasty and kind of expensive. It's if yeah. you're buying it every time. It's a whole process. Yeah. I mean, it's. I think it's definitely the the better option. But I've never been had any success with it on like leg hair. It's just too much. It's. I, and you know what it is too is that it's waiting the like ten minutes. Yeah. In the bathroom. Well, because it's, it's all uneven. Right. Like you can't put it all on at the same time. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, maybe I should give Nair another go. Because I liked it the one time I did it. Sponsored by Nair. Sponsored by Nair. Nair. Sponsor us. Please do. I would love free Nair. Not sponsored. That would save my life. That would save my life. Yeah. So I'm glad that we got all that off our I, chest. I, it's been, it needed all to be hair. said. It, all that hair all off, that hair our, off chest. our chest. I wish I had chest hair. That'd be awesome. Do you wish that? No, maybe. I wish I had like a little more of a happy trail. Oh, I think okay. those are fun. <laughs> Should I get a happy trail implant <laughs> yes, <laughs> from <so>. my head? <laughs> For the hair plugs, where do they get the hair? You know, that's a great question. I don't know much about hair plugs. I don't either. I think sometimes they take it off of other parts of your body. I thought that was what they did. Yeah. Or then they like s- stimulate growth somehow. Somehow. I don't know. You should get a happy trail toupee. Mm. <laughs> that's good you just glue on you just glue it on like individual eyelashes oh dude fake lashes are another thing do you do fake lashes very much not very much so I many love the way they look though they look great so many people do it as like, like their I daily think. routine yes i've done it like a couple times for like costumes right. and that's it it's and i'm sure it gets a little faster every time you do it right but that is definitely a like 2016 um youtube thing i remember is that like every fucking beauty youtuber tutorial after doing an entire face it's like 300 dollars worth of products and two hours of work yes they end it all with like the biggest pair of fake lashes and they're like okay i feel like that's cool. still i mean like fake lashes there's more natural looking ones but i still feel like when i watch a makeup tutorial they always end with them yeah and i tried like those magnetic ones oh, where yeah. you do like the magnetic eyeliner but to be fair, I got like a shitty one off Amazon <laughs> that probably gave me cancer. Oh. Um, but it was weird. The the eyeliner was very weird. It was 
very goopy yeah and strange. That was, that's yeah. what it looked like like i thought it was a cool concept yeah but it I, is yeah. in theory because they're easy to take off but uh yeah i don't know okay but circling back to the expensive unnecessary beauty service yes the you can get you know like eyelash extensions that then last for several weeks oh i've had friends get those and they look really good they look really good i'm so tempted but they're you know expensive so yeah that'd be cool but it's like you wake up boom you're done your face is done that's the thing too i haven't had my brows professionally <sighs> done in years like the only time i did was when i was like 15 like yeah. way too young to do it isn't that funny we waste we waste our resources when we don't need it and then and then I we're know. old and we're we're haggard at 25 and we need it dude well i've been thinking about this like if i were to like i might have said something like this before but if i were to get my brows done my nails done oh, get yeah. waxed get uh haircuts every six weeks like you're supposed to um get like a tan and just like do all these things i mean one it would be so expensive <laughs> I would be so beautiful. You'd be, you'd be the perfect woman. I would, like, look good waking up. You know, I'd have, like, right. my brows, my lashes done. I'd yeah. get my acne scars lasered off. <laughs> and it's, like, I'd be so beautiful, but it would be so much... So much work. So many appointments right, to I make. I was going to say, how much time you have to take out of your, d- your, out of your week yeah. just to, like, make it? Because a lot of these things, you have to go do them every, like, six to eight right, weeks. Right, they, like, want you to maintain them. And getting your, if I got, like, acrylics and actually got them filled like you're supposed to. Right. It's just, like, I wish, I wish I could. Hey, yeah. But I just, I don't have it in me. And, you know, no one really does. That That's the Some thing. Some people do. Well, like, people with either really horrible money management or, like, <laughs> infinite money do. Just a lot of money. But yeah. I, I think there is this idea. Because it's so funny. I was just watching a TikTok where somebody was saying that, where they were, like, people are complaining about the prices of these services, but they're, like, realistically, like, we're not actually all going every six weeks to get our hair cut right. and our eyebrows done and our nails done. Like, I think most people pick one. Yeah. You know, like a lot, because I know I've known a lot of people that get their nails done really consistently. Which mm-hmm. blows that's a my fun mind. one. It blows my mind because it's so expensive. It is really expensive you know? and time consuming. Time cons- exactly, and like fun to learn to do yourself. Yeah, I mean, I've tried. I'm horrid. I'm wretched. Yeah, um, I just paint them mostly. They're not painted right now. But yeah, I think I think ultimately a lot of people just pick one. I, I think often choose the hair, which makes yeah. sense. But um, yeah, it is crazy when you like add up the cause. And like you know, it's one of those things where you could probably incrementally start adding them, and eventually, you know, you have like a whole routine. And you can usually stretch it out longer than the time, like because you know, of course, people are going to tell you to come back more frequently because it is better for their business. If you right. Come back more. Right. But yeah, no, I think about that. I try not to think about it too much because I'm like, I'm going to get overwhelmed. It's um, just, I just, I want to like feel that way without doing all right. those things. Yes. Yes. But I don't, I can't. I don't know how. <laughs> I. It's a waste. It's a I waste. don't leave the house without makeup anymore. Whoa. Really? Yeah. Well, my skin is, right. it's getting better again, but it was pretty bad for a while. Okay. So, okay. and I still I have so much scarring. Right. And it's kind of just like I, it's like I could pay a lot of money, or I could try to accept it, accept the way I look. Right. <laughs> yeah, because it's only you only get older, and you know the the beauty standards get harsher as you right. get older. So it's just like it's probably not worth it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's. I think too that you know as you get older, you know you probably will have more resources and opportunity. Right. And I think that it's it's good to use your time when you're younger to just like try to accept these things as best you can you know because it's like yeah because otherwise you do just get sucked into spending all your time and money trying to look a certain way when it's like ultimately yeah, our looks are maybe the worst thing we can invest in. it's really <laughs> outside of like doing basic skincare and getting like haircuts you really that's all you need right yeah yeah but no i mean it's it's hard and i, I think you know what too i think when you're I don't know. Like when you're at home with like less things to think about, it's so easy to instantly turn it in on yourself. And be yeah. Like, I need to start being really concerned about these things. And, um, cause I just think about that's like when I was the most intense about it as like a teen, you know, right. like when I didn't have 
a job or like any other things to put my time and effort to is like okay i'm just gonna obsessively think about things that i can change in myself right it's crazy too because i look at photos of me when i was like 18 and had like great skin and didn't know it i'm like oh my god oh my god she didn't know that that adult acne was coming it's coming for her (laughs) it's like and i was i'm probably more confident now than i was then so i don't even know if it's correlated right yeah i mean yeah 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 big time big time yeah (laughs) (laughs) guys comment down below what's your deepest insecurity yeah i mean sorry physical physical insecurity insecurity. i feel like i'm less insecure than i used to be like by a lot by a lot by a lot i probably look worse (laughs) actually that's not true i got your whole i got my hair figured out right she finally got that for so long i didn't know what to do with my hair and i had so many weird haircuts and now i like my hair and hair is everything (laughs) hair is the only thing that matters wow you are so interesting as a person thank you so much um I'm fascinating. Yeah. Aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I do feel like when you like your hair, it's easier to like the way you look, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's, I, mean it's, I feel like, yeah, it's like any any focal feature of yourself. You're yeah. Like, okay. That looks good. Because like, I feel like for the, and, and still a bit to this day, if I do my makeup well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Matters, hair and makeup. Right. It's like, I can wear the shittiest outfit. I'm but like, you okay, look, but my yeah. makeup looks nice. They're, yeah. Because my face looks good. And even then, I, I focus exclusively now on like my eyebrows and my eyes. I can't even all be bothered to try to do any, you know, I used to do full face. I That's also what I can't believe is I used to do full faces of makeup like all the time. And I literally can't can't find my shade match anymore because i don't remember how to do it <laughs> i'm like huh. it's hard yeah i've spent i've bought so much like foundation that just doesn't match I hate all the fuck and then time. i either have to throw it away or commit yeah or to I, being a little yellow I, I, I try to mix it i'm like i'm just gonna make this just work with another foundation and it doesn't work but nobody's mean to mean enough to say anything to me so yeah of course we move on i've found that um i don't even know if this is proper color theory but if I have a foundation that's too, like, orange or yellow, if I mix it with some green color corrector, it usually kind of balances it out. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because I have a weird undertone. I have, like, a neutral undertone. You have witchy undertones? I'm, yeah, I'm very pale, but I have, like, witchy neutral <laughs> undertones, so yeah, it's hard to find the right color. Yeah, like I said, I, don't, I can't even try anymore. Like, I... I just select the palest color and then I hope yeah. that I can fix it with like blush. Start with, and that it works, honestly. Yeah. Because what before I put my blush on, I look like a ghost. Right. It's like, that's fucked up. What is and that? It's like, what's happening? <laughs> and also, like, I put my foundation on first. And so it, like, my eyebrows and lips also become like skin toned. Oh, interesting. So, and my eyelashes. You know I like that. So I look insane. Yeah. yeah. It's really fun. Okay. Yeah. This is interesting. Why foundation first, then eyebrows? Why not? Not eyebrows eyes um because I, I think i just i need to get foundation around my eyebrows so it's easier to then like put stuff over and fix it than it would be to like because if i did eyebrows first then like foundation would get in it and stick to it yeah yeah so it's i often hear the opposite from people they say they really? do their eyebrows and eyes first so then if they screw up they're not taking off foundation oh interesting i mean i don't do i just do i don't do very complicated makeup okay just mascara and then i have a brow gel that makes my eyebrows red to match my hair that's good because i dye my eyebrows brown because so people because so people don't know you're faking it i'm a natural redhead but i dye my eyebrows (laughs) and my pubes brunette and your leg hair and my leg hair i just just full body dye (laughs) and my roots sometimes that's That's a good scheme thank you keep people guessing Keep keep them guessing they don't know um okay moving on from beauty okay what is there beauty's a pit what else is there talking about though uh i got a residency (gasps) not a doctor kind. not the doctor kind i did a slideshow comedy performance about twilight (gasps) and i had made it like three years ago for comedy club and i like re kind of edited it and made it better but i did have one like meme in there do you remember? It's like those dumb like doges 
and it's like go to horny jail bonk. oh yes the bonk and i kept it in there and then when i was presenting it i was like this is really outdated <laughs> <laughs> but it's here <laughs> Um, yeah. Anyway, so I did that and it went really well and they want me to come back oh. every other month. What? And do a new one. They like to? So now I have a regular space to do slideshow comedy, which I always is my favorite and I never get to do it. In your core, in your heart and soul. Yes. It's like who you are. So I'm very excited. That is very exciting. It's that Joke Teller's Union for the Seattle folk. Guys, go check her out. Go Never check her out. Go check her out. That's it. I'm I'm psyched. That's su- success. That's success and gains. And fucking gains. It will be. Oh. What fell? Something, but I, I don't I know what. I can't tell what it I, was. That is a mystery. Maybe there's something in it. Oh my god. Can we get a playback on that? Yeah, can we play <laughs> <that one? laughs> It will be. I don't think anything fell. It really looks like something fell. Yeah, it looks like something fell. But the other reason it's good is because I never write new material. I write new material like once every six months. So this will make me do shit more. And that's exciting. That is exciting. (laughs) Thank you. Guys, we really did that. Guys, we really went there. We went there and we went back. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything. You know what happened to me the other day? Mm-hmm wasn't yesterday so it must have been a few days ago <laughs> i was doing something on my phone i think we had just pulled into the driveway and i was like trying to check something siri because i'm a fucking ancient grandma when i'm using my phone like i don't know how to use my i've had my iphone for a year and a half maybe two years at this point mm-hmm. don't know how to use it siri like popped on and i was like go away like and the i was like, robot trying to, trying to close it and then it started calling one of my exes what the <laughs> fuck <laughs> i was pre- i was screaming right i was like don't yeah. do that don't do that bitch yeah because there's me out. face id unrecognizable so i have to like punch in my face oh i'm on an i'm on an app i can't i nightmare nightmare right oh I'm, like, my god scrambling to try to end this call end the call and i'm like hopefully i ended it soon enough that they did not like it didn't register on that's their phone. the worst there's so many things like um when I you're know. going to add or edit a contact oh it's so easy to start facetime holy them. shit like yes. you just go to press a button and the pop-up disappears and it, now you're face now you're them. like that's what's so scary is yeah. in the moment it is just like by the way this is happening and there's no way to stop it. i think as a a fantastic senior ux as, designer yeah very i think anything calling facetiming should be like a slide Oh, to, yeah, like you need a confirmation. Cold. Like, do like, you really want to do? This? Like you press a button, <laughs> it becomes a slider. You go whoop. That that's all we need. So much sense. That would solve so many problems. Well, and it's funny too because yeah, the similar thing happened the other day when I was updating my um, emergency contacts. I realized that my ex best friend was still listed <gasps> as one of my emergency Ooh. contacts on my phone. I go to delete it. Hey, you're calling her. <laughs> I say, well, oh. no, I don't want to. And then, of course, like, the, again, the interface, like, disappears. And I'm like, help. And then yes. I, it was so It funny. shouldn't be so easy. And then um, on, like, Facebook or Instagram chat, I'll just, like, drop my phone a little bit and accidentally hit the call button. Yeah. And, like, it happens to other people, too. Like, I'll get a video like call a that immediately ends and they're like, sorry. Right. And I'm like, I get it, dude. It's These like, interfaces need work. It's so funny. Yeah. 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 And you're did the did that. your ex answer or text you or do anything? No, Brendan that's was like, good. you can just block them and then delete the contact. And I was like, yeah, that's that, fun. You just do that anyway. I really should clean out my contacts. That's and that's what Brendan was saying. He's like, you should just clean it. And I was like, God, it's such a good point. There are so many people in here that I would actually never want to contact, especially <laughs> not accidentally. I feel and th- I feel terrible. This is a good person for this to happen with. But I had a friend from comedy club named Akash, spelled with two A's. So he is always at the top. <laughs> and I have accidentally <laughs> called him so many times. Because if I just open my contacts, right. he's right, right there at there. the top. First one. And I have no idea if the calls go through or not. But I'm constantly like, ah, oh, no. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, 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 not that. <laughs> I'm not doing that right oh, now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What you really should do. I remember my mom used to do this. She would put like her top contacts. She would make their names start with AA. Oh. So that they're always at the top. That's actually a good hack. 
Wow. That's good because then if I accidentally call you, that's fine. Right. It's so it's yeah. so different when it's like certain yeah. people, but it's like yeah, there's people that like it's. Cr- I have people from Tinder still in there. Right? I have like old coworkers I'm, like, and bosses. Scared to go yeah. through it because I'm like yeah, and that's the other thing is that there's a lot of people that I want to keep in my contacts because I'm like oh at some point in my life I might need to contact yeah. this person, but I don't want to call them out of the blue. I don't ever want to call them out of the blue. That is so weird. Yeah. Like, I would no, thank you. Because if they called me out of the blue, I'd be weirded out too. Yeah, I'd be like, what the fuck? They should really create, like, some sort of, uh, like, context that you want to look at and be able to, you know, Yeah, use. archive. And then and, oh. then and then an archive context. That would make where so you can much just sense. Archive. Send the, like, it kind of should almost do this by itself. It's like, if I have not texted yeah. or called this person in one year, yeah, it gets archived to a different area. Right, it's like. And, a, you, and if you call them there's like are you sure are you really <laughs> sure <laughs> or just the slide i feel like because we do the slide to answer yes right the because is very like and it should be the same it should be boop whoop bloop. why is that so hard yeah it's no. seamless it wouldn't interrupt the process of calling someone uh apple hire me apple get this girl on your roster i have an idea she's a great idea Maybe I'll do a case study on this. No, that'd be honestly for my great. portfolio. That'd be pretty interesting, actually. I think so. I'm desperate for more Apple, content. Android, get on that. It was yeah. really cute. I'm gonna put this um, on. What day was this? Monday, Wednesday. I don't know. Last week, I woke up to a message from Emmett, the guy who runs the show, and he was like, "Hey, are you in the mood to do a good deed?" And I was like, sure, what's up? And his neighbor's dog went missing. Oh. And it was so funny. He's like, the poster they made sucks so bad. <laughs> it has no... And like, bless their hearts, you know, it's... I think they just went on Canva and got like an event... Or like oh, an okay. invitation wow. template and like put their dog in it. Interesting. It like was like blue and like pretty... Like it did not right, communicate it <laughs> urgency. It didn't say anything about the dog. It had one photo. So oh, I was man. like, sure, and I like made a missing dog f- poster. Yeah. Um, but what was cute was that like the dog was found a few hours later, oh, nice. and then he posted. He's like, "Hey, shout out to Bernice. She designed a better poster, and the dog was found." Whoa! And I'm like, this would be a really fun little case Sweet. study. Yeah. On my portfolio, even though it could have had nothing to do with my poster, it could they have don't just know been. That. But I don't know that either. So yeah. I mean, yeah, that's none awesome. Of us do, really. Yeah, that slays. So I that's thought that'd cute. be cute because it's not th- a lost dog poster is not the pinnacle of design. Well, you know, it's just right. like red, yeah, bold letters, <laughs> lost dog. Like we have these patterns for a reason. That is so interesting. But yeah, it's a cute story. It's the type of thing too where it's like. You don't think about it, but the fact that they did it wrong made it so clear. Like, it was like, yeah. that's not what you should make a lost dog poster Well, because like. the way that it looked, like, it looked just like a cute, yeah, like, exactly. poster about their dog. Because right. it's just like, Harry, right. photo of Harry. Like, nothing about this shows me that the dog is missing. I need to find, have I seen this dog? There's no urgency to it. It's yes. like, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, that's really interesting. I, I get that. really nerdy about that kind of stuff. She's passionate. So now I'm going to do a, a rant about how calling people is too easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is. Because what if you're me in this situation? Yeah. You know? Uh, ah. Yeah. And it's like, I'm trying to think, because my first thought is like, okay, the problem with it is that if you need to call someone in an emergency, there's another step in between it, right? But like your emergency call on your like yeah. home screen has like two or three yeah. verification oh, hard. Yeah, yeah it's like uh, so like i think it's fine i think it's fine yeah no i think that um yeah it, that's such a, i mean it's an interesting problem to be like yeah how mm-hmm. how easy versus how hard does it need to be but realistically in the regular you're making a regular call yeah like 99 percent of use cases exactly it's not urgent it's not like it's oh not. this is life or death you know so it's like it's like you're f- you're like falling off a cliff and you hit the call button and then <laughs> you don't have time to slide time to it's swipe. like at that point what would have you wouldn't have had time to calling answer the sooner calling wouldn't have actually helped. <laughs> i don't know i'll have to think about this more but yeah i'm a real i can get real nerdy about this you can get real well you can get real about a lot of things yeah, yeah. i like that thank you i'm gonna affirm you with that one not a 
defirm. Not a defirm. Like, oh, so I know we're getting close to wrapping up, but give me a moment. I found something cute today. Oh. So I was showing Rendere because, um, okay, I was thinking about, you know, that guy that Taylor Swift is dating Travis something. Oh, I think so. He yeah. had some just like kind of cringy, problematic tweets come up. Yes. And so I started thinking like, what would happen if people went through my old shit? And on my Facebook, like my earliest photos are from 2010. Oh, I have them good. pinned on my profile now. And they're from Pet Society. Oh, yes, I remember those. Yes. And so I was showing Randair because I thought it was funny. Hold on, let me get to the bottom. And then I realized, guess who's commented on all of those photos? This bitch right here. Susan. This and like bitch right here. my friends like Lexi and Mac had commented oh, on a lot God. of them. Oh, God. Yes. So this one, Brendan, I'll send you screenshots to put on oh, screen. Oh, that, uh, that's funny. I found some dude on Pet Society with solid gold poop. And then uh, <laughs> Susie says, that sounds dot, 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 just a bit weird, <laughs> LOL, <laughs> 13 years ago. <laughs> oh, God, things have not changed. It's so cute. You're still posting <laughs> shit you find, and I'm like, oh, wow, yeah. that's crazy. <laughs> and then I said another one, I found someone with rainbow poop. Oh. And then Susie <laughs> comments, crazy. And then Matt comments, poopy. <laughs> That's what at the core we're still the same. We're still people. the same, and these are they're so wholesome. I'm gonna oh, take God. screenshots for Brendan. I I do love the um the archive that Facebook has created of it's, like middle school us. Like, it's, it's so cute, adorable. Like I, I and that's the thing is I don't really feel that embarrassed like i like I, I always get the reminders and it's like 13 years ago i was like great episode of glee tonight <laughs> yeah it's with so cute. two likes on it god that's precious like, and it's that's, ah i love that it's funny because i remember like um at some point because if i posted these when i was 12 right. when i was like 14 or 15 i was like oh i have to remove A these lot of people were like ah, this no. is so embarrassing but there was something i had enough wherewithal to be like no these will be funny eventually you thought about <laughs> it no <laughs> like, that's, that's the thing is i know so many people that like deleted their facebooks because they're like oh it's awful and i'm like i get it but like give it five years and it's wholesome no again. it's like yeah. literally so funny i mean listen maybe if you're posting hate stuff right you know, that's it. the thing i was never all my embarrassing shit is just like dumb yeah kid stuff i don't i didn't even use like the r word or something because that's what travis was getting roasted okay. for yeah yeah i was pretty pretty clean that's a, i think that's truly the great thing about being like a, a little square and like yeah. you know middle school and high school is that then yeah these old these old like internet documents are like perfectly old. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> yeah. silly. it's They're like just fun wow this person threw a party and three people showed up <laughs> and you know what they had a great time and we had a blast it was awesome yes so i love that yeah post those pet society pics um, yeah i'll send them to brendan i'll do that once we end yep yep yeah. yep uh my favorite thing about facebook uh back when i first got a facebook and i think this was just like very early facebook is what people did or maybe it was just me i don't know um but i would always um have like my statuses were always like you know because it has like your name first and then i would be like went to the store or whatever like, oh right yeah you do it like in third person yeah yeah it was always in third person because i would because uh, you'd see your name right no it literally said that it was like because that was how it was designed to be yeah i think first. it was like i feel like there's some text it was like what that. did you what or like current status yeah yeah it was supposed to be formatted like currents like feeling like feeling is, gloomy I think, feeling. yeah you know what i think i think it was like there was always an is right before or oh something. yeah like yeah it was like Ooh. Brendan or something is, like that and then you, that's why you'd be like feeling really hungry right now let's yeah. see if we can get to and my so, old post yeah for like i don't know probably a year i only made facebook posts in that format yeah it was facebook at that time was so like it was literally just like your the people you knew at school yeah so i posted on it the way that i kind of treat my instagram stories now where i'm just like posting dumb shit right but instagram stories go away which is Thank the joy you. of it 
but my Facebook status is okay. Right. We're almost there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Ooh, there's some stuff I don't want to think about. Vince, you recently <laughs> watched uh, Pain. 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 We recently watched The Social Network, actually. Oh yeah. And uh, great documentary, by the way. Yeah. Great, <laughs> documentary. great documentary. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just absolutely absurd yeah. how that whole thing came to be, and uh, the thing that we all—it's a good movie. Kind of grew up with. You guys, that. Zuck kind of sucks. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I'll screenshot that too. Got it. Um, what's funny to me about it too is that it is now, like, the it's not the trendy. No social network it's anymore. Yeah. It's like now I like so I'm still on it a lot for comedy. A lot of comedy events are organized on there, so I do go on it more than I'd like to. But it's, like when I look yeah. at the recommended content, oh, it's agreed. It's it's like it's like stuff that like my my grandma, yeah. you know, would be like, "Isn't this funny? Yeah. Isn't this cool? Like it's very like I don't know how to explain it. Like it's not. It's just like trendy, like bullshit. <laughs> like yeah. I don't know. Yeah, all that like every post seems like it's it's like fake, like kind of. Yes. Another yes. Yeah. No, it's very weird, but it it is a really in- it's like everyone uses it for organizing public events still because I yes guess because it is many- a good event platform right. There's not a lot of alternatives, honestly. Which it's is unfortunate. the best for events and for selling things. Marketplace. Right. Marketplace. <laughs> yeah. Marketplace is huge. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm just talking. Yeah, I don't know. I just post up. This was me talking about getting my Comic Con badge. Oh yeah. It's like oh, Susie to Bernice Larson. I just found out Russell Johnson, the guy who played the professor on Gilligan's Island, died. Man, R.I.P. <laughs> that brings like back it. memories of us watching our way through the series. Ugh. How were we so cool back then? That's so cute. You just posted that to my wall. Oh, God. You know? Like, you could have messaged me. But this is what people did. Yes, right. Because it's like... Yeah, no, there was something to it where it was like, you know, you just something just post it to each other's profiles. Yeah, some things you you wanted other people to see. Yeah, we're like, I want people to know about this. True. Uh, nowadays, my grandmother <laughs> does that thinking she's sending me right. a private message. The classic. Uh, fun. Yeah, so Here's your ointment, dear. Good. That's what she says. Got your ointment. My yeah, my mom tags me in a lot of random stuff. Like my wall now is just because I never post. Right, it's no, just yeah. like family stuff or like comedy stuff I got tagged in. Yeah, it's very uncurated. Yeah, no, I I think about that. I get like three birthday messages now. Like I never get birthday. Isn't that weird. I still feel weird because people will still comment. Like there's like ten people that'll comment. Yeah. happy birthday to me, and I'll, I'll try to make a point to like like them or whatever. Or no, I go through you. and I like them, but I never post for people's birthdays. Right? I'm like, hey, I thought we stopped doing. That I thought now. we all collectively agreed. Because remember, I don't know. I was big on doing it back when. I oh was yeah, on, it was like, oh, this person's birthday. You were like, if you forgot or like didn't do it, it was. Like horrible. a big deal. I feel yep. horrible. But now it's like just my aunts or like right. a, an old teacher, you know. Yeah. I think I forgot once and was like, "Well, I can't do it again. I can't start it back up you because then stop. that person's gonna right. feel bad. People are gonna know. So I guess I just don't do this anymore. Oh my god, that okay. This will be the last thing. I got. I went to. I was hosting a shroom show last night. I Whoa. was not doing shrooms. Would never do shrooms on no, stage. Sh- it looked like hell. Would just in general, uh, you'd but never touch the stuff. I would never. It's scary. I also don't think it's that can do like high shows make a lot more sense. Yeah. Like people on shrooms are kind of just like anyway. So I parked in a diamond parking lot. Oh god. And I took a picture of the number so I could pay with my phone. Smart. And I went to the venue and I searched it on the app and it couldn't find it. The number. I found out later I was using the wrong app. Apparently oh Diamond has their own app. Oh my god. Anyway, yeah. of course there's a parking ticket there. Right. When I get back. Oh god. So I go home and I'm like, oh Randair, I got a parking ticket. And he's like, Oh, is it Diamond? And I'm like, Yeah, he's like, Oh, those aren't real tickets. And so I looked it up. And yeah, they're a private company, so these yeah. like they don't go on your traffic record. Hey. They are not enforceable by law. But you know, it's a private lot, so if you park there again, they could right. tow you. Oh, okay. So okay. he's like, look, you can pay them $65, or you Ooh. could never park <laughs> in a diamond parking <laughs> lot again. <laughs> and I was like, 
I think I might just never park. Never <laughs> park. Because they do suck. They suck They ass. suck. They're yeah. terrible. They're so expensive. Yeah. And they're just... Sh- oh, my God. That is so funny. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, because I think the one time I got ticketed... So yeah. I think it was by Diamond. And it was... Because in the parking lot, there was like like a billion spaces and there happened to be one space that required a permit that wasn't it was like what the in hell all the normal spaces i happened to park there because i was late for a doctor's appointment and then yeah there's just a ticket even though there's like a bajillion empty spaces yeah so i was like yeah. i'm not like i'm taking anyone's special spot yeah um and i think i think my my dad ended up calling them and like getting them to to drop it like somehow i don't remember what it was but like because I, I had the same thought where I'm like, do I even have to pay this? Yeah. Like, at all? And I think it was, yeah, something. I don't know. I think my parents are worried about it, like, affecting it's, I my could, credit scores. Yeah, no, it can't affect your credit. They don't send it to collections. I know. I was, I'm torn because I could call and get it. Like, lowered? Lowered. Because they put my vehicle make wrong. They said my car was a Ford. It Wait, was not a Ford. So you can just continue parking in there. Right. <laughs> Because they don't know what you're calling. But, yes, they do have my license plate, though. Yeah, mm. That's fake. Swap but that. if I call them, then they know that I know about the ticket. So right. I lose. Right. So, like, kind of a firm. Or if they check, watch this podcast, <laughs> they know. <laughs> I lose my plausible deniability. So I'm not sure. Okay. I Although, ultimately, I feel like I should just not park in diamond lots because they're shitty as it's, hell. It's a tale. Yeah, it's a There's, cautionary tale. Yeah. Like, don't, don't ever. Because yeah. that's the thing is, like, even if you park correctly half the time, they're like, take it. Take it. Like, yeah. What? And that's what I was reading. I was on the Seattle subreddit oh, and everyone yes. was like, diamond is so terrible. The family is like one of the richest families in Seattle that owns it. Oh, my It's God. like a whole thing. They you give, gotta take them down. They give tickets for everything. Right. Their tickets are often invalid. Like you know they'll tell you you parked there too long when you didn't right yeah so i'm just like man maybe i just cut ties you like <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny i cut ties yeah. with the diamond lot oh diamond. my god it's like a mafia family it probably the is the biggest family it in sounds the city. like it is because they get like and people are mad about it too because they're taking up like plots right for yeah. their shitty expensive parking right because like that's and it's not run by the city uh, like all the other parking so bullshit yeah no because yeah. parking is so bullshit in it's general so awful and if i'm gonna pay fucking like 25 dollars to park why isn't there like a security guard yeah watching our that cars? was my other thought i was like if i just don't pay and get a ticket every three times <laughs> that's like just cheaper right than, like, no it is it absolutely is yeah <laughs> even like paying the tickets would be cheaper <sighs> and then like oh. yeah you you park in their lots if anything happens to your car they're not liable for yeah, it. yeah it's like there's just like what are we doing why? what's in this for me at all anyway God, that's crazy so that's okay story. i love that yeah stay tuned to find out what happens with being the i'm probably be- just Bernice gonna ignore be- it diamond parking I'm just gonna ignore it, and if they ever come after me at all, I'll just be like, "Well, what what model do you think yeah. my car <laughs> is? <laughs> hey, what car do I drive?" <laughs> That's not correct. And you're gonna say a blue Ford, and you're like, "Yeah, no, it's not a." Fo- it That's again, so funny though. to me too, because the Fiat logo is right. How it's on the back of the car, That's and it crazy. it is spelled out. It, it says is like Fiat. It's not like an is, F. Yeah. It says Fiat, and they said, I don't know, Ford. Maybe they're doing you a solid. They're like, this is bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> <I don't know. sighs> Dude, that's awesome. So I think that's a good place to wrap. That is a hack for yeah. you to think about. Yeah. I don't know. I could, because can- when I was reading on Reddit, a lot of people were like, I just don't pay them, and I've parked there multiple times. But I'm kind of scared. I don't want to get towed. It's definitely scary. Yeah. Yeah, Because getting towed's a whole thing. Oh, gosh. It costs like 300 bucks to get it out. You have to find your car. It's like a whole thing. It sounds like you're in the clear, though. They don't even know the make of your car. Yeah, they don't even fucking... Yeah, I don't know. And because I was looking it up. Because if it's a city ticket and they get your make wrong, like usually you can get out of the ticket. Uh, This isn't even a real ticket. It's fake to be. It's just a piece of paper they give you. Right. And they say, you have to pay us (laughs) That is so <laughs> funny. Like I just, yeah. I love that. Yeah, they're like, you have to pay it, and they're, and you're like, what's gonna happen if I don't? And they're like, I don't know. We're gonna send you letters. Mean I swear letters. we'll do something. <laughs> yeah, life hack. Life hack. Life Always hack. pay city tickets. City yeah, tickets are city's, legit. City's a big one. They go on your record. You can go to court if you don't pay it. Diamond tickets are fake. Uh, yeah, I've never. That's the thing is, I've never gotten a city ticket. Meaning, this is the first ticket of any kind I've right. gotten, and um, it was on me. 
I thought that right. I was using the right app, but apparently there's more than one app. But it's also bullshit that, like, it's not, like, easy, I guess, you know? Yeah. Because it's like, because every time we park, it's the same thing where it's like, yeah, you're like, okay, do I pay at the kiosk? And they and then there's a big thing that's like, pay on the app. And so you go to the app and it's like a QR code that takes you to the wrong website. Yeah. And you're like, <laughs> yeah. I don't. Can I pay at the kiosk? And they say, yes, but put the ticket in your window Ugh. and then actually keep the ticket with you. And I'm like, I don't know what you want from me. Yes. But here's $25 for here's one $25 hour. $25 for 30 minutes, <laughs> of, I guess. Yeah. And city parking is better anyway because most of it's free after like 8 right. p.m. or whatever. Right. Yeah. Anyway, don't pay your parking tickets and don't shave your legs. Or do. Or do.